Okay, so you're finally ready to publish your coloring book and you launch the previewer and when you get to the quality check, you see that there is an error on your cover so let's talk about it in this video i'm gonna walk you through the entire process of sizing your kdp coloring book to make sure you don't keep getting the same error message and make sure you stick around to the end of the video because i'm also going to be showing you how to resize your cover image so let's get into it the first thing we're going to do is go to kdp cover calculator and this is going to give us the dimensions that we need when we are creating our book. So that if this is your first time creating your cover, you won't run into an error message. But like I said, don't worry if you do run into an error message because I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. So for the binding type, we're going to be doing um, a paperback. And interior, we're going to do black and white. Paper type is going to be white paper. Reading direction is left to right. Measurement units is going to be inches and then for our trim size because this is going to be a Coloring book cover. We're going to do eight and a half by eleven because that is the standard size for coloring books That is the size I use for all of my coloring books But if you want to play around with any trim size, you're more than welcome to we're just doing that for this And then for the page count, let's say we have a total of 54 pages now keep in mind in my coloring books, I don't include 54 images to color, but the reason that it's 54 pages is because the pages actually include the blank pages as well as the title page and any types of quotes. So KDP counts all of those pages in the final page count. So that is why I'm saying 54. And then we'll go ahead and calculate the dimensions. Now, when we calculate the dimensions, the first thing you're gonna see is the full cover dimensions. This is going to be 17.372 by 11.25. And this is what we're going to need to input into our design system. And we're going to be using Canva for that. Canva has a free plan and they also have a pro plan. What we're going to be doing today as far as showing you how to create your cover using KDP's cover calculator that is absolutely free. However, you may want to consider the pro plan if for some reason you are wanting to remove a background image on your cover or if you have actually tried to upload your coloring book and you need to resize it. Those are two reasons that would be beneficial for you to get the pro plan. But like I said, everything that we can do for free, that's what I'm going to be showing you on today. So I'll show you a workaround as well. And if you do decide you wanna go ahead and start with the pro plan, when you click on my link that I'll leave in the description of this video, you'll be able to start with a free 30 day trial. Now that we're in Canva, I'm gonna go ahead and click on create a design. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to custom size. I'm gonna change this from pixels to inches. Then I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my full cover details. So I'm gonna put 17.372 by 11.25. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on create new design. All right, so this is gonna bring us our full template. So this includes both the front and the back cover. The front cover is gonna be on this side. The back cover is gonna be on this side. And one of the reasons I love the KDP calculator is because you get an opportunity to actually download a template. So if you wanted to download the template, you would just click that button. Once you open it, you should see two files. You'll see the PNG file and the PDF file. So you can take that and you can drop that into Canva and then you click on it and it brings it into your blank template. Now this was the PDF file, but I actually like using the PNG file because it lets you edit easier. So now let's go over the template so you can understand it. Like I said, this is the front cover. This is the back cover. Anything that we're gonna include, we do not want it to cover the barcode. KDP will automatically put this barcode on the book for you. And any important words or images, we do not want to come outside of the white area. So the pink areas are a guide to let you know, do not come out of these margins with any of your important information. This area right here is the spine of your book. And so I'm going to go ahead and search for a square and I'm gonna bring this over the whole document. Now I'm gonna break down the transparency just so I can see the background. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my spine so we can have that, all right? And so we'll change the color of the spine and everything once we get to that part. Then I'm gonna duplicate this page just so I have another page like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. 
All right, this is our new template that we're working with. Now we can bring in some text and we can say my dream, my dream life coloring book. Go ahead and bring that over here. And then if you already have your image that you have commercial rights to, you would just click here to upload those files. I'm gonna go to Mid Journey and grab me an image so that I could use for the purposes of this cover. And I think I am going to stick with image number two. Go ahead and save that, drag it into Canva. Now, if you wanna learn how to create a coloring book step-by-step -step using Mid Journey and understand the prompts, then I do have a detailed coloring book course and that is available at Book Bag University. The link will be in the description below. Now I'm just gonna play around with the spine color a little bit. I think I like that brown color for the spine, so I'll leave that like that. Let's make this blue. Maybe we wanna make the title color white so it can stand out a little bit. Go to effects and then um, give, it a, give it an outline. All right, so then we have my dream life coloring book. We got our little cover together. When we look at the one right up under it, we can see none of the important information is going over any of these lines. And then if we were to bring our template back over here and just put it over our cover and we pull it down a little bit, we can see that none of the important information is going over any of the lines. So we can either pull it down or we can bring in the transparency just to make sure nothing is over the barcode so we're all good with that we can click on the cover and then press delete now we have our cover we will simply just save this download it as a pdf print we can flatten the pdf and then we're going to just download this one page click on done and download so now we have our cover but what happens if you have already submitted your cover and you didn't use the KDP cover calculator or you submitted your cover and you get a message from Amazon and it's telling you that you need to resize your cover for some reason it will usually list the dimensions that you need to resize your cover too now this is where I was saying the pro plan of Canva would be beneficial because as you can see under the resize and uh, magic switch there is a little crown here the crown means that this is a pro feature so you would need to have the paid plan in order to do this but this is the simplest way to do it so this is something you may want to consider you would just go to resize and then you would go ahead and put in the size that KDP is telling you that you need to resize it to so let's say you needed to resize it to 17 0.472 by 11.25 right so you would just go put in those dimensions then you would scroll down and you'll see this little arrow and you're just going to select the page that you need to resize and then click done and then you would click on continue once you click on continue canva is going to ask do you want to copy and resize and you would just click on copy and resize and then you can open up your new document so now it has automatically resized it to the new size that KDP is telling you that you need. If you see any spaces or the image is not pulled all the way down, then make sure you go ahead and readjust that by pulling it all the way to the edge of the page. Let's say for some reason you do not have the pro version. What you can also do as a workaround, you will go back to your original document and then you can simply highlight all of it. And then down here you would see the more button and you would click on copy. Then you would go and you would put in the dimensions that you need. So we had changed this to 17.472, we would click on new design. So then we would simply click on it and then go ahead and paste it in. Now, when you do it this way, as you can see, some of the things are a little off center. That's, that's the reason that the pro is helpful because it has everything completed like you need it. But when you do it this way, you will have to reposition everything to make sure it's fitting correctly for you, all right? So you would just bring that image in and then make sure your background is all the way. There should be no white space. If there's any white space, you're still gonna get another error. So make sure you line everything up the way it should be. And just move your text to where you wanted it. 
and then you can do it like that. And that is how you could create your book cover using KDP Cover Calculator, as well as how you will be able to resize it if you were to get an error message. Now, let's say you wanna make life even easier for yourself. And you're like, I want my coloring book to also have 54 pages in it, like Latoya's coloring book does. Then I have taken the time to create this drag and drop template. So this is how you could use it. You would just simply bring your image in, drop it in. If you want to move it over a little bit, you can do that. And then you can even go to the color and change the background color. And then the spine, you could keep it the same color. Or if you wanted to change the spine, you could do it that way as well. Then all you have to do is change your text to whatever you want your coloring book title. You can make those changes if you want to duplicate this section and add your author name to your book you can also do that whatever you want to do is fully customizable and let's say you even want to add four images to the back of your coloring book like i do with my coloring books i also go ahead and add in um, a second template as well you can just drag and drop you can even add text to the back cover if you want to do it that way as well just like that to create your cover. I'll leave the link for this in the description, but it'll be available on my site at Book Bag University under the template section. And again, if you're interested in knowing how to create prompts for your coloring book using Midjourney, I do have a full course that goes step by step on how to publish a coloring book on Amazon KDP. And we talk all about mid-journey, we talk all about prompts. You get a couple bonuses, an ebook guide, as well as a prompt guide, if that's something you're interested in. Like I said, I'll have all the links in the description, but that is available at Book Bag University. All right, guys, if this was helpful, please like and subscribe because this will let me know to keep putting out more content like this. Until next time, bye-bye.